Para 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 para. Well, I guess you're gonna add music. Yeah, you don't have to do that, Robert. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the real music. No, wait. See, I, I already played. I played the real music already. Well, I don't know how you're gonna edit this. <laughs> you see, the thing is, you don't have to play the. Re- you can no. play the real music whenever you want. You're just gonna play it to make your play it before I said that. Yeah. So Robert, to make me look like an idiot. Well, speaking of looking like an idiot, you have your advanced math concept to explain this week. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. There we go. Robert explains advanced math concepts. All right. This week, I'm going to talk about combinatorics. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Ten times five times three times ten, with a tiny three next to it, equals 1,000 permutations. That's combinatoric. Let's say you have six pairs of pants. Six sweaters and two hats. There's so many different ways you can wear all of those clothes, and you want to try them all. Because you're young. How many different ways can you make all of the choices? Well, you have six pants, six sweaters, and two hats. So you're going to multiply six times six times two. The answer is 12. That's 12 different ways you can make each individual choice. Combinatorics helps us count things. Four does not equal to the square root of two. Sometimes letters can be numbers. (laughs) And that's it. Way to go. That was great. We have have learned a lot today, Robert. Thank you for your lesson. Yeah, thank you, Robert. (laughs) 